Well, hello. Talk to me, spirit. Have I reset with my ancestral spirit team? I am the voice of the voiceless. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. If you like the words that's coming out of my mouth, please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. All right. I love reading comments. All right. What's popping my talk to me spirit fam. Okay. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. And of course, thank you for being you. All right. Let's see what the overall energy for today's message will be. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. A lot of y'all are going to be losing loved ones. Like I said, because the veil is thinning, the ancestors are coming back to show justice for the earth. So if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, I advise you to do what you're supposed to do. They will be taking loved ones back. All right. For some of y'all, y'all going to be in awe because y'all are losing relationships. Some of y'all could be losing jobs. OK, some of y'all could uh, be losing, getting evicted from your home. OK, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Those things you lost, you took for granted. OK, all those people, things, places that you took for granted. Spirit is saying, OK, if you don't appreciate them. I'm going to take them back. And a lot of y'all are going to be losing parents and grandparents, maybe aunts or a mother figure or father figure that was in your life. It's because you didn't appreciate them. You treated them like, like a piece of shit. Okay? So, you know what? They love them better. So, they taking them home. Okay? And a lot of y'all that have lost someone and y'all didn't get that opportunity to show them their flowers while they were alive. This is your opportunity to talk to them, to write them their letter, to speak to them in meditation. You can still ask for forgiveness. You can still <coughs> tell them that you are uh, you are apologizing to them. You can ask them to forgive you during this time, like I said. So the overall energy is grief. You're going to hear about a lot of sadness, okay? Because you have to lose things. And some things that you lose is for you to get your uh, carnucopia out with the old in with the new what messages do we have for the divine masculine a lot of y'all are going to get a reconciliation with someone my divine masculines that you lost because you didn't appreciate that person when you had them and so spirit is giving you a second chance to reconciliate with this person second chances and that's all you're getting to make it right y'all have been talking to one another telepathy you have grown more mature, okay? You able to hear each other's thoughts, finish each other's sentences, able to catch, uh, sense each other's feelings and mold. It's like you like, oh, this person is going through something, okay? Um, hold on, spirit. All right, sorry. You can sense that this person's going through something and you're like, dang, um, I hope this is all right. So you asking people uh, questions about them. Is this person okay? Is this person hurt? You know, I just feel like something's wrong. Just tell them to contact me. I know I fucked up the rotation, you know, but divine masculine, okay? You didn't appreciate that person. So spirit is going to give you a second chance of reconciliation. What else did my divine ma ma uh, masculine need to know? You neglect wounds. You refuse to heal. So every time you was in this relationship, it triggered you. Okay, you didn't appreciate it. Now that you're healing and you are uh, taking care of those inner child wounds, okay, you starting to let things go. You starting to uh, see your worth. You starting to uh, admit the things that you're doing wrong instead of pointing a finger. You all, you starting to take responsibility for the choices that you make. Okay, you learning to control your anger. Um, you struggling to say no to other females that you have kids by. You starting to open up instead of repressing your emotions. You learning to deal with it. Okay, because during this time, that's why Spirit's saying you have learned your lesson. So this person that's you lost, you're going to get back again. Reconciliation. One more card for the Divine Masculine. The 
divine masculine. I said, one more spirit. You're regretting. You're regretting not putting her first. You're regretting um, not spending time with her when she only wanted you for time. You know, spend time with her. Stop going out with the boys. You starting to regret this, all right? Because now you settling down. Now you want more. You want that family. You want that family with her, okay? So like I said, you are healing. You're going to learn to compromise. You're going to start saying, okay, you're going to start agreeing to disagree. Okay, you have, you learning that you have willpower, that you can do this. It's like, fuck your boys. You don't care what your boys said. This is what you want. You have determination. You have that self-mastery. You learn in self-control. You are at the crossroads, but now you're realizing what you truly want. And Spirit is saying, you are going to get reconciliation of that, uh, that relationship or that you lost. It could be a job. You had a good job and you fucked it up. And they are about to take you back. Okay? It could be a loss or something. But Spirit is saying they get right, give you that opportunity again, my divine masculine. All right. What does my divine feminine need to know about this grief, Spirit? Patience. During this loss, you learn patience. Okay? You learn spirituality. By losing this, it brought you closer to your divine brought you closer to God by losing this. By losing something it's an opportunity to appreciate it. Patience. Spirituality. It brought you closer to God. Alright? You learned your karma. These karmas was your teacher. Okay? You're learning to forgive yourself and you're learning to forgive others. You're starting to set boundaries okay? With yourself and with other people. you putting you first. Also, you learning to the telepathy you lost someone real dear to you and you know that you can communicate with them you able to hear each other all right spirit is saying during this loss you learn to manifest because you start appreciating what you lost okay you up there saying if you give me another chance another opportunity maybe not the same but maybe something close to it, I will learn differently. And it brought you closer to your higher self. It brought you closer to spirituality. A lot of y'all was grieving over the loss of a child because you were neglecting yourself. All right. This is going to bring you closer. You talking to that child. Your child said they forgive you. You need to forgive yourself. You starting to find that inner light. Okay. You starting to find that inner light. What else for my divine feminine? You're starting to get aligned, connected to source, to the divine, identifying when something is greater than the material world. You're starting to set boundaries. You're starting to focus on you. You're starting to love you. This baby that you lost is there. You're talking to this child, telepathy, okay? This spirit baby is talking to you, all right? Some of y'all are pregnant, and they said you think you're losing the child. Talk to this child. Tell this child to fight for their life, that you're ready. Okay, you can connect to your child. I'm hearing through telepathy, all right? All right, let's get into the messages. Spirit, what do they need to know? A lot of things are ending ending so you can get these new beginnings spirit is saying victory is yours a lot of things is ending and you getting victory because you learning to appreciate the things that you lost you learning to show gratitude okay because they had to take you where you lost a lot of things okay spirit is saying you starting to bet on you by you betting on you you're going to be going through the chariot car you're going to be going through a different direction you on the right path you no longer going through that low vibrational uh vibration you're starting to go through that high vibration you losing low vibrational peasant people and you're going to start attracting people that's more on your level more on your vibration speak the same language that you speak all right a lot of y'all um you got the nine of wands you're standing in your power you holding on okay you know that you're not alone you standing there okay victory is yours 
No more of this drama. No more of these blockages are being removed for you because you're starting to show that you truly grateful and appreciate. You starting to connect with the divine, okay? You're gonna hear about ways to make money. People that was blocking your money, blocking your finances, blocking you from getting a job. That is being eliminated, that is being removed, okay? Spirit is lighting a fire under their ass, okay? Victory is yours, all right? You get ready to get that Cinderella, Cinderella and Cinderella uh, cornucopia that you're asking for. You're going to hear about some people coming into your life that is truly for you. All right. You got to, uh, if y'all hear like heavy walking in your house at night, those are your spiritual bouncers. They doing their recon around your area, making sure no low vibrational uh, spirits is trying to get to you. They coming in and they lighting the torch, all right? A lot of y'all, like I said, money is coming into y'all, all right? This is from the divine because you have a lot of endings going towards you, all right? There's someone that's trying to um, block your finances. Spirit is saying your spiritual bouncers are coming in. They not they not tolerating that no more. A lot of y'all are connected to Anubis. Anubis is coming in. All right. A lot of y'all are that that rose. You know those rose that grow in the crack, that little flower, that little weed. That's you. You are growing up. They tried to sabotage you, but Spirit is saying you're coming out in victory. Victory is yours. A lot of y'all calling in lovers. Like I said, y'all calling in a lot of reconciliation because of this grief card. Y'all learning y'all lesson, okay? Y'all paid y'all dues. Y'all did the crime and y'all did the time. So y'all are getting y'all love that's coming in. Money's coming in. Financial ability. A lot of y'all getting a lot of downloads during this time, okay? A lot of y'all are connecting to y'all spiritual animals. A lot of y'all have a lot. Beset is around you. Anubis is around you for some, all right? Y'all going in hermit mode. Y'all being guided at this time. Like I said, y'all learned y'all lessons. So y'all coming out of hermit mode. That's what I meant. Because y'all are starting to understand. Y'all paid y'all dues. Y'all paid y'all karma. Okay. Y'all getting reconciliation. Y'all getting a second chance. A lot of y'all, um, y'all got magical dust getting sprinkled on y'all. Y'all think it's Sandman and it's not Sandman. All right. What do they need to know about? Yep, a lot of y'all crying over spilled milk. You in your head. You are showing uh, a lot of um, y'all saying, I'm sorry. You starting to forgive yourself. You starting to forgive others for their stupidity and the divine sing your heart. Like I said, a lot of y'all, you ain't get that second chance on love and everything. Y'all, you ain't get brand new. Okay, y'all been in hermit mode for too long. A lot of y'all, y'all money's going to come through. Like I said, it's coming in because blockages have been removed. All right. Y'all have decisions y'all have to make about certain relationships, okay? You're going to have to put your foot down. If you marry and you got a baby by somebody else, you're going to have to tell your wife, no matter what, I'm your husband, but that is my child's mother. She gave me that child. I have to talk to them. Spirit is saying you're going to have a decision. And the babe and your wife need to know she knew you had a child before she got with you. So it's a lot of communication. Vi versa with the husband, with the baby daddy. Y'all need to start putting rules down. All right. Spirit is saying a lot of y'all going to find out that y'all have the gift of scarring. Also, Spirit is saying these people that was against you are trying or they up in their head because they can't figure out why you still getting blessed why their spells are not working for some of y'all like i said your spiritual bouncer came in and eliminate them okay they are doing readings on you so amp up your protection all right a lot of y'all get ready to start traveling your ships are coming in you get ready to get that happiness i'm gonna, in the next Three months, could be January, could be December, but this love is coming in, this happy family is coming in, this reconciliation is coming in. A lot of y'all are spiritual lazy, and Spirit is saying, if you want this to happen, you got to be open to receive. A lot of y'all are not open to receive, and that's the reason why the blockage has been moved, but the hold up is you. That's why it's not moving, because you're not putting no gas in it, 
all right spirit is saying you're not putting no gas in it and you need to put the foot to the pedal for it to work okay a lot of y'all just spiritual lazy you want spirits to do everything spirit said uh-uh not today get somebody else to do it okay spirit is saying a lot of y'all gonna be speaking the truth okay y'all gonna be speaking the truth out of love all right Okay, y'all going to be very nurturing. A lot of y'all going to be a mother and father to a lot of people. Okay, a lot of y'all, y'all intuition has went up. A lot of y'all getting downloads at this time. What other messages? Love on the brains. Someone is thinking, like I said, reconciliation. A lot of y'all going to get back together because of the grief, okay? Y'all had to lose it to appreciate it. All right, they dreaming of you. They fantasizing about you. Um... Uh, they dreaming of the past when y'all were together. They dreaming of the future of y'all together. All right. This, this nostalgia, they coming in. Okay. Someone also, like I said, that's doing readings on you. They following you on all, all social media. They want to be like you because they feel like you got the sauce and they want the sauce. But Spirit is saying that's not going to work. Okay. Wants to be like you, acts like you, dress like you, looks like you, copies you. That's about to get played out. Spirit is getting ready to interfere with that. All right. They so obsessed with you. They try to read like you. Everything. All right. A lot of y'all are in grief because your children got take away. CPS took your children away because of bad parenting. Okay. You, you tried. You, your baby daddy or baby mama didn't like it. So they lied on you and you got your children taken away. Spirit is saying... You are getting ready to get a second chance. It's going to be a court date and a judge is going to rule in your favor. All right. I don't know who this is. And for some, they're, they uh, grew up, you adults now, and your, your mother or father is elderly and they didn't treat you correctly. Okay. They had bad parenting. Okay. And you grew up hating your, your parents. Spirit is saying, like I said, tomorrow's not promised. Okay. A lot of people is going to be getting taken back. So you need to forgive them for they know not what they do and forgive yourself. You can love them from a distance, but you need to set this free. All right. So they can pass on freely. All right. Someone is going to get a dirty offer. Okay. Spirit is saying, refuse that. This also is a person coming in a reconciliation, but they are not good for you. Spirit is saying, let it go. Okay. A lot of y'all are getting nightmares at this time. Because whoever is pulling uh, cars on you, scurrying about you, is sending you uh, night terrors. That's why you're unable to sleep. You're seeing things under your eyes. Spirit is saying you need to put a glass of water over your bed with salt in it. And write the Psalms 91 on a piece of paper. Stick it under there. And call your spirits to go in there. And those that are not for you will get trapped in there. All right? What else do they need to know, Spirit? Okay, this person that's trying to be like you, everyone loves this person, but you can see through their bullshit because they try to intimidate you. They know you are the real deal, holy field. Okay, Spirit is saying they know the difference. Okay, they know everything. They be like, ain't that that ain't that what he or she do? You know, they copying. People are not dumb. This person's trying, but it's not going to get them far. Okay. Spirit is saying someone is going to get a dirty offer from a female. So all my men that are walk, uh, watching this, there's going to be a sugar baby. She's so pretty and young, but she only wants her rent paid, her hair done, her nails done. Okay, she's going to keep, and you when you're ready to have that sexual favor, she's not going to do it. Spirit is saying you need to chill out and stick to the women your own age. Okay, there's a lot of internet trolls jealous of what you have and how you appear. This is these imposters. These are those people that are getting reading on you. These are the people that's throwing stuff on you. But your spiritual bouncers are taking care of that. Okay, Spirit is saying someone's going to come in. They're going to offer you another dirty offer. Talking about they love you and everything. No strings attached, but they have feelings they're trying to hide. They have somebody else. So don't go for this dirty offer. Okay, for some of y'all, they can't get over you. So they are stalking you on social media. Okay, like I said, they spying on you. This is another person that is trying to reconciliate with you, trying to find you. For some of y'all, 
it's a good thing for some of y'all it's a bad thing someone is spreading lies because they are intimidated and secure about you these are these imposters they trying to be like you okay they jealous of you but people know you are the real deal these scammers all right Someone is going to come in and give you a, dar uh, a dirty offer. They give good advice to steer you in the right direction. All right. Spirit is saying they, they want something in return. Catch 22. Someone is the chaser. They can't resist and want to be back. This is this bad reconciliation. Marital problems steaming from different personalities. This is what I was talking about. Okay. My baby mama, baby daddy is just married. You need to tell that husband or that wife, you know, this is your baby daddy. This is your baby mama. We do have children together. I'm not, I want you and only love you. Okay. Because it's causing problems in your marriage or home. Okay. What other? Someone is hating money. You only hate the frustration, use anger and motivation. But okay, y'all hating money is because y'all can't keep the money flowing. Okay, that's the reason I love making lots of cash. I am comfortable with receiving money. That's why you hating money is because you manifesting wrong. Okay, y'all manifesting wrong. You have to change the words you're speaking. A lot of y'all feeling not lucky, but you need to shift what you say and create your own good, good luck. I attract uh, miracles. Okay, a lot of y'all are changing your financial fate with your own free will. I am destined for success. Okay, some of y'all feeling hopeless and y'all want to give up because money's not coming like to you want to. I see myself being rich. Don't give up. Money flows where attention goes. You are what you attract. You have to change the words. I see myself being rich. Some of y'all are about to start over. Like I said, second chances because of grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Looking for new opportunities. Let it go and move on. Y'all getting ready to start over. Force ahead. Fresh visit. Bad decision. A lot of y'all made bad decisions. That's why that's karma. That's why those are lessons. These lessons are teachers. Not thinking things thoroughly. Not thinking things through. Unable to open new doors. It's because of the words coming out of your mouth, first of all. And the second of all, you holding on to a lot of grudges. You're jealous. You're envious of somebody. But you never know how that person got that. You never know what they're going on. Everybody don't show what they've been through. Okay? Take time out. Talk it over. All right, y'all making bad decisions. You can't win if you ain't right within. It's not a competition because there's no comparison. You got this. Eyes on the prize. I achieve my money goals. Just because someone is getting something easier, once again, you don't know how they getting it. Everything has a catch-22. Everything has a price, all right? You never know what a person went through, good or bad. All right. I send you peace, love, and light. I shall.